Okay, so it's that day for us Helix users. You know on the channel I'm a huge fan of the 96 Helix, the HX Stomp, the HX Specs, all that stuff. Today there's a new firmware that's come out and I just wanted to share with you some of those things. I know you'll be buzzing to get that update, so in case you can't get to a unit, I filmed a load of content with this the first day, so I've also put up some like reaction videos of trying this stuff for the first time. But I think the headline thing that is going to stand out for a lot of you. There's three new reverbs and I think a lot of people have been waiting for this stuff for quite a while. Since the dynamic hall I think people have been wondering uh, are Line 6 going to run with this idea and the answer is actually yes. We've got a dynamic plate now so an updated plate reverb which sounds incredible and the dynamic room which is an updated kind of room reverb obviously and then there's a shimmer so up till this point there wasn't necessarily uh, a polyphonic capable shimmer reverb in the Line 6, there now is, and it sounds incredible. Aside from that, we've got five new delays. We've got a crisscross delay, we've got a heliosphere, which is a delay and reverb mix. We've also got a tessellator, which is a bit more of an experimental delay, and what that does is it sets two points and it repeats what's been played into it, sort of like a, a micro looper and you can set where the two points are going to be either by speed or by pitch and how many steps so say you set it's got eight steps so the first step will be at your your the pitch that you played it at and then you can set it to be a pitch you know an octave above and it will step eight times up and you've got this boomerang setting so you can set it to go between the two spots and instead of pitch it could be done by speed so you could have a slow speed to start or you know the standard speed and it can gradually increase over time and then decrease. Interesting effect, I think there's a lot of potential in there. And a simplified version of that is the Ratchet, which just repeats what was played into it. So it's like a micro looper that kind of has a pulse. That's quite an interesting effect for me. Then there's an ADT, which is, uh, you know, like a, a stereo tape deck, like the sort of thing that I think was used by folks like the Beatles at Abbey Road and all that sort of stuff. So that's another interesting thing that's in delay. For bass players, there's an Ampeg uh, Opto Compressor and there's an Ampeg Liquifier, which is like a, a chorus type effect. There's also the Line 6 Ven 2, which is a new amp, which I would have been using in the introduction that you may or may not have bothered to sit through. But that's kind of Ben Adrian's take on uh, a more vintage tweed orange style circuit Imagine if someone like Mr. Dumble got his hands on one of those and did some kind of boutique mods to that sort of amp. Um, so it's kind of a, a, a brand new concept and uh, I think it's got a really cool sound. They brought back a load of legacy effects as well, so I'll just flash those up on the screen now. But things that really stand out to me are the tape eater because this can help you to get some kind of really chewy tape kind of modulation on tones and I think that's a, a really cool thing. Also a bunch of filters and synths have come through from the old legacy kind of M series effects, I think. Then there's a couple of important changes uh, that aren't new effects or new amps, but for instance, you've got per preset pad settings. So you know you've got in your global preferences, you can have a pad on or off. Say for instance, you were going in via, say for instance, you were plugging into your Helix or HX Stomp or whatever with hot pickups, you might turn that pad off. 
but you know you'd have to remember to go in and change that depending on which guitar so if you're switching guitars for a set you know I'm switching from a Les Paul to a Strat you might want to turn that pad off for instance um, you can now do that per preset so you could have a Les Paul preset you could have a Strat preset and then that pad setting is remembered for each preset if you like so that's really useful then another really cool thing and I'm going to show you some of this now on screen in my kind of kitchen sink preset that you heard me playing with in the intro there. Essentially in command center you can set a button to switch snapshots, right? So you could say I want this button here to go to snapshot 2. Now what you can do is once you're in snapshot 2 you could have that button do something else. So it could switch you to snapshot 1 for instance um, and this is really powerful so it means that you can use one button for a whole multitude of things so for instance on the HX stop and I'll show you this I've used it to use two buttons to switch between three snapshots so with just the two buttons I can get any of the three snapshots at any time and on the the helix you can do even more with it obviously because there's way more buttons but that's really cool to be able to go into snapshot one and this switch will switch to snapshot two and in snapshot two you can use it to switch to snapshot one difficult to explain but really useful. So those are kind of the headlines for me, the stuff that you need to know about and that you really want to check out right away. I'll jump in now and show you the kitchen sink preset just so you can get a flavour for how these things kind of work. So here's just some of the stuff that I really like on the new Helix. The shimmer, obviously. <laughs> really cool sound then as I'm saying Ratchet does this thing where it repeats what has been played and that's tied to the tap tempo Tessellator does a similar thing But you can see it jumps between, in this case, the pitch. I've got the ramp set to pitch and it's jumping up to an octave. And because I've got boomerang on, it's jumping up and down. I've only got two steps, but I can have more. So you hear basically what's going on there. Um, and then if we had it to, to go by tempo, or speed, sorry, instead. You see it will gradually increase in speed or decrease as well, because we've got a boomerang. So you get the sense for what's going on there. So the Ratchet and Tessellator are two similar effects that are both quite experimental, I would say. Then we've got the ADT, which is, as I say, that tape. And you could use that to, to add some of that tape kind of warmth to something or however you like. The Heliosphere is a new delay reverb thing where the delay has reverb on the tails as well which is cool. So I'm sure a load of the kind of ambient fans are going to love that and maybe some worship guys too. Tape Eater is like... An older algorithm from line 6 but this is kind of chewing up your signal. But mixed with some of these other effects, I think has a really beautiful.
And as you'll hear, I'm using the Ventu for all of this. A really, really pretty sounding. Um and I'm also, I think, I think I'm using the plate as well. Yeah, the dynamic plate I've got on there. You see this says snapshot 2 here, as I go on to snapshot 2 it changes to snapshot 1 which is really really useful and if I go in here I'll show you how this works. Foot switch 7, I'm going to set this command to be a snapshot and we'll set it to be snapshot 3 okay and then once we get on to snapshot 3 I'm going to set it to be snapshot 4 so you see I'm on snapshot 2, I can get snapshot 1. I'm on snapshot 1, I can get snapshot 2 or 3. If I'm on snapshot 3, I can get snapshot 4. Um, so it's really, really powerful. Uh, just with two foot switches like that, and you think about the possibilities there, uh, that's really useful. So I can have more kind of stomps here if I need, and still have access to as many snapshots as before, because we can now change what the, the snapshot command does per snapshot. Really powerful, something I'm going to explore more of. So that's just some of the things that I really like about the new 3.15 firmware. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's bits and pieces that you are really looking forward to. I'm going to do a deep dive into some of these tones uh, as we go. Um, I want to do a video on the Ven2 specifically. Uh, there's more specific videos about the reverbs and also about the tessellator, how that works on the channel if you want to check those out. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.